another video today we're doing stiletto nails and basically they're iridescent nails encapsulated i am so obsessed with these nails as you already could have seen by the intro like these nails oh my god in the dark they're gonna look so amazing y'all gonna see that at the end of the video but for now we're just gonna start with a clear base a very thin layer of clear acrylic as you saw and now i'm just applying these flakes i bought these on amazon if i'm not mistaken of course it will be linked down below so if you want to buy these just check the link in the description and you'll find the dutch amazon but of course you can just um, search for the name in the amazon in your country so you can get it too because this is fire i swear to god i've been wanting to do these nails for the longest time but i don't know i don't know why i didn't do it um before but yeah so i'm just applying and you can see that it's a little bit yellow when you apply it i was scared i thought oh my god it's not gonna look the way i thought but when you put the clear acrylic on top of it you're gonna see it's gonna start turning iridescent like that's so pretty like it's really pretty so that's basically what i'm gonna do um with the rest of the fingers so i'm just gonna let you guys watch and enjoy And I have to get credit to my mom because I was on the phone with her the day I did these nails. I was on the phone and I was telling her I want to do a, no a new set, like a new design, but I don't know what to do. She was like, why don't you do stilettos? You always do those damn square nails, like change it up for a change. I was like excuse me i felt attacked but okay so i got up and i went and did these and they turned out so good i might have to take more nail advice from her <laughs> um i don't know but this turned out very very pretty so um thank god i listened to her because honestly i've never done stilettos before i've always done almonds which is almost the same but still i never did stilettos so it was kind of something new and it was not really a challenge but it was interesting you know i was trying to see if i could get it the first time and I, I i did so i'm very proud of myself i say all of that to say that you know sometimes god or the universe whatever you want to call it sends people your way to tell you something or to share you know a story with you or give you a little motivation and we have to learn to be receptive to that because most of the times 
it's a sign or a little nudge in the right direction but of course it's up to us to catch on to it and actually take action imagine if i didn't get up and do these notes it would have never turned this good we never know this video might blow up too who knows i mean the possibilities are endless so you know that's a little motivation for you guys today just get up and do it that's all you gotta do leave the rest up to god because trust that he's gonna handle it baby okay So anyways, back to the nails, do you see, do you see how pretty that is, Look, I just can't, I just, I'm still in awe of how it just turns iridescent when you put the clear on top of it, it's just so pretty to me. So now I'm just applying the cover color and swiping it down because I sounded just like, what's this man's name? Arnold Schwarzenegger when I said down. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm just swiping down and blending it into the nail like so. And also because the cover is a bit sheer, I make sure to blend when I put the bead down also. So the top part is also blended so it's seamless. When you have a um, very transparent uh, cover colors, if you don't blend the top, you're gonna see a line across the nail um when you finish so we don't want that of course and especially because i file my nails to a very thin layer on top of the nail so because i don't like my nails thick so the more you file the more you're gonna see everything underneath the nail because it's gonna be thinner so you want to make sure that everything is seamless and there's no partitions so people can see where you applied your first or second bead so that's what we're going for seamlessness So here I'm just cleaning up the cuticles because of course since I'm doing my own nails sometimes I cannot hold it correctly even though I try and product gets into the cuticle so you always want to clean that up and you just saw me tap 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 my brush at the cuticle that's me sealing the cuticle area with my brush you can do it two ways you can seal with the brush and you can also seal the cuticle area while you're filing i choose to do both but if you seal the cuticle when you're applying the product that's much better because it just cuts down filing time and it helps so much with retention because the product adheres properly on the nail and also you don't have a big bump that when the nails grow out it will get stuck into things so making sure that your nail is flat uh, at the cuticle area is going to help a lot with the retention of your nails
so after I'm done with the ombre I'm gonna go ahead and cap everything in clear so I can protect the ombre because you don't want to file away all the blending you did so you have to always encapsulate with clear so you protect your design in this case the ombre So I left the filing part in so you guys can see how I filed the stiletto. Um, it's basically the same as always. Just make sure that the points are very pointy because that's the whole point. No pun intended. But yeah, so I always use something to support my hand to keep it stable while I file away like a crazy person.
since I still go cuticle while applying the product I don't have to use very aggressive bits to seal the cuticle um, when filing so I'm just going over it with a sanding band the sanding band is a 240 grit so it's very fine and I'm just you know making sure that everything is seamless um, and I'm also going over the entire nail with it and buffing at the same time as correcting any imperfections that there still might be and even an afternoon. just watch watch oh my god like isn't that so pretty i know it is it's just i'm in awe still now i'm moving on to applying the diamonds the crystals they're not crystals though these are rhinestones from shein so you're also gonna see me at the end do something that every nail tech says to not do but i will explain why i do that and why it makes sense for me um honestly i'm not the best with stone placements i'm still learning um sometimes it looks off to me but it turned out pretty nice so I'm happy about that um, and these are also iridescent type of stones that change colors while you turn your nail um, I bought them off of Shein so I'm gonna find it and link it in the description bar for you guys Since these uh, rhinestones are not Swarovski and they're not real crystals, they're going to lose their shine and color after a few days, especially if you do a lot of cleaning. So I apply a thin layer of top coat to protect it. And here, this is me just obsessing over these nails and this is the end result i hope you guys liked it don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this because i'm coming with that heat baby okay